What is up, Down and Sideways? You beautiful individuals, welcome back inside. It is Lee Gunlock. My name is Eric, aboard the Millennium Falcon today, flying a little Han Solo as we are looking at one of the best individual performances in a sea of incredible individual performances across his career. We're talking about the EU GOAT. Caps, craps, claps, the different evolved stages. This dude has had so many incredible tournaments and splits over his illustrious career. But I'm saying, and we're looking at 2024 spring as maybe, just maybe, being the best split ever when you're looking at caps individually and i know that maybe sounds a little bit crazy because he's won so many mvps and been far and away the best mid laner we're looking at 2019 that peak g2 dynasty where they won msi made it to a world finals but i'm looking specifically at domestic lec performances and when we transport you to 2019 remember it took a little bit for this G2 super team to get going in spring, which is the year that Caps ended up winning MVP. I think Yankos ended up winning in summer. But when you compare 2024 spring to 2019, sure, maybe the highs are a little bit better uh, for Caps because they were legit 1v9 performances of him taking over games. But the consistency, I'm giving the nod for 20. 24, whether it's the eye test or you look at specifically the numbers across the board, especially when playoffs rolled around in this year's spring split, there were zero sightings of craps, basically all of the spring split. I'll give him, it wasn't even him, it was the full bad G2 game, that one upset loss they had to Rogue. Okay, that wasn't very good, but when you're looking at the playoff run as a whole, it was sheer and absolute domination from Caps in 2024. And 2019, there were plenty other G2 players to be highlighting. This is peak wonder. Yankos is one of the best junglers in the world. Perk seamlessly fills into that AD carry role. But in playoffs, time and time again, when it's a key play, when it's a team fight engage or you need something some little spark it was caps over and over again you can argue again feel like 2019 is the one comparison for best split you can talk about out of caps 2019 the meta was a little bit more explosive caps was able to play more uh assassin type champions to take over games which is always going to be more exciting a bigger highlight reel montage to go through 2024 it's a little bit more of these control mages but come on on these control this guy got two pentakills in the same playoff back-to-back -back series with the Aurelian Soul and the Azir, and he was just completely taking games over north of 25 minutes. There is no player that is more clutch in the LEC than Caps. That was fully highlighted in the 2024 spring split, and similar to Chovy, we're talking in the same capacity, guys who have been around for years, guys who have been at the top of the game for all of those years continue to evolve. For Chovy, it's now been expanding to roaming and extending leads outside of his dominant laning phase. For Caps, he continues to get better at the laning phase. He was known for roaming, especially on this G2 super team, sacrificing CS and the lane state to get his side lanes ahead. Now he can just do both. And this is talking about Caps being so dominant in maybe the worst split we've seen out of Yike in his incredibly young career. He was still good, but we're talking about him as best jungler in the LEC at times in 2023. Uh, so a slight dip in performance from your jungler and a level up from Caps is really what makes me feel like this is the best split individually that he's had because he single-handedly raised the power level and the floor of G2 throughout this entire split. As now the old Wily veteran on the squad, you know he's even more involved in the communication and strategy for the team. So it really feels like he is a complete and final form version of Claps. It used to be when he was young, 
leveling up, it was like 50-50. Are you getting craps or claps? Because we take the bad with the good because the good is so bad. Or the good is so good. Now it feels like it's 90-10. You're getting claps in most of these matchups on different champions. No player in the LEC is able to find a meta champion quicker and learn how to play it we saw way earlier in winter for him listen you could even include the winter split for caps because he was so damn good honestly all of 2024 so far has been some of the best body of work that we've gotten out of caps which is absolutely insane to be saying because he's been the best in eu going on more than half a decade now and does not seem to be showing any signs of slowing down the other way you can compare 2019 to 2024 is obviously the level of competition what are the kind of mid laners he was going up against in 2019 obviously perks his main competitor switched to his team to play ad carry um there were a lot of young guys like nemesis febivin was at the tail end of his career I think it's more impressive five years later because the game just continues to evolve and there's this new wave of young rookie mid laners coming onto the rift. And yet again, much like we're always talking about Faker in the LCK, who's the latest challenger that's going to take down Faker? Who's the latest young upstart who's going to take down Caps for years? We were talking about Humanoid getting that level up going back to his Mad Lions days when they won back-to-back -back titles. But since then, it's been all caps all day, baby. There's a reason you talk about all, you hear all these other mid laners and young players talk about caps is the go. Caps is the guy you gotta beat. And well, when he has 10 titles, there's a reason he's the guy to beat. But after being around and dominating for so long, it's incredible that we're talking about caps at this level on all these other champions i mean aurelian soul is a guy who he made his namesake back when he was playing in turkey in like 2016 all these years ago uh but he's always able to adapt it doesn't matter if it's assassins or control mages he's able to pop off but it really feels like the mistakes are just so few and far between he's continued to level up and 2019 may be more exciting, but 2024 is the most consistent, reliable, and maybe the most terrifying version of Caps. He's smiling, he's laughing, most importantly, in the down years of 2021 for G2, he didn't seem as happy for when they weren't winning, but now, oh my god, he's having a good time getting pentakills left, right, and center. I truly cannot wait to see him at an international event because that's when it really feels like caps levels up if you want to talk about peak all-time individual tournaments 2019 msi is number one for caps but we're looking specifically at domestic lec events and right now it feels like 2024 is the best of the best on a mountain of trophies and individual awards that caps has accumulated so yes if you're a fan of g2 if you're a fan of the lec you should be very excited for msi because caps and g2 are coming and they are in search of redemption for a disappointing end to worlds 2023 but that is all the time today my friends for league unlock my name is eric as always thank you all so much for joining us hanging out watching and you best believe that we will catch you on that flippity flip